Hello and welcome to another video from the Pythonic Accountant. Today's video is going to be a little bit fun and not really accounting related, but we'll try to twist it there. So we're going to look at the one of the Python libraries that allows you to use a uh, access the Twitter API. And this one is called Python Twitter. There's a few other ones as well, but this one seems fine and easy to use. Um, so in order to get started with this one, you will have to uh, use another Conda installation. So I didn't save it, so I'm going to just go ahead and do a search it again. So Conda Python Twitter. And the way to do it is uh, using this code right here. And I've already done so, but you will need to do that in your environment. And then once you do that, you will just need to import Twitter. Um, there's a second piece that takes a little bit of time, but it's not that hard. You actually have to go into your Twitter account and follow the instructions here on this page. And I'll save this in the code as well. And what this allows you to do is uh, you have to go into Twitter as a developer, create an application, and you will need to <clears throat> name the application and follow the instructions here and basically create an app. At the end, you will get uh, some access keys. So you'll get a consumer key, consumer secret, access key, and access secret. And <clears throat> what I've done is saved that into a file called secret.py. And that's a separate file um, that I can then load from it the API keys and access tokens. So that way, they're not saved into the code itself, but they are located in a separate file. So we're going to import Twitter and import those four keys. And then to initiate the API, we just have to call this right here, API equals Twitter API, blah, blah, blah. And um, now we're going to have some fun. So here's where we try to twist it to accounting a little bit. Let's say we are an auditor, and we are auditing the company Tesla. And we want to just monitor social media to see if there's anything that, you know, may indicate that there should be a subsequent event recorded in their financial statements. So here we are, January 8th, 2020. Uh, I'm assuming they have a December 31st year end. And, um, you know, it's the first couple of weeks in the new year. So it's after their financial statements uh, have reached the end of their period for reporting. But... The statements have probably not been released yet, so now we're in a period where we should look for subsequent events. So we can, uh, uh, spoiler alert, we don't really find anything interesting, but this could be a way you could monitor uh, your client and see if there is anything interesting. So we're going to do a search. We're going to do results uh, from the API get search. We're going to search for the hashtag Tesla, and we're going to get the first 100. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, limit this. So we're going to iterate through those results for R and results, if the retweet count is only only the ones that are greater than 20, we want to see what time was it created or what date was it created, how many retweets were there, what's the text from the uh, tweet. And then this just creates a little line in between each of the tweets. So let's see what this looks like. And cool, we've got some results. Our first tweet is Elon Musk busts a move at Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory. That's... Uh, that's probably not financial statement disclosure worthy, but you never know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's look up maybe something else. How about hashtag, what if our client is Apple? I don't know if this is going to work, but let's try it. Oh, here we go. And finally comes your very first look at Apple's highly anticipated iPhone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, again, these are uh, pretty boring from an accounting standpoint. Nothing that I would say would be worthy of financial reporting, but, you know, kind of fun. Wanted to show you can use Python to access Twitter, and uh, maybe there is some use that you have for your accounting purposes. So anyways, that's all we've got today. Definitely check it out. Try it out for yourself and have some fun. In addition to reading tweets, you can also uh, use Python to uh, write tweets so you can make your own little Twitter bot. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please click like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave a comment. Thanks. Have a good one.